Today, we are going to be making new Mexican style sopapillas. First, we're going to whisk together the dry ingredients. We have two cups of flour. We have one tablespoon of baking powder and one tablespoon of sugar and two teaspoons of salt. Let's whisk it all together nicely. Once it is all whisked together, you're gonna make a little well the best you can, like a little hole in the center. And you're gonna pour in your wet ingredients. We have three-fourths cup of whole milk. We have one tablespoon of honey. And make sure to get it all out because it can be sticky. Once all the honey is in there, you're going to mix it all together until it forms a sticky mass. Alright, that seems good. And once you form it into a sticky mass, you're going to cover it with a clean kitchen towel and leave it to rest for 20 minutes. What you want to do is heat up your oil in a pan up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And once your dough has rested for about 20 minutes, we're going to roll it out into a square shape, but like one eighth inch thick. Once your oil is done preheating to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, you're now going to heat it up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So, we have now rolled our dough out to one eighth inch, and now i got to cut it. You don't have to cut it perfectly, it can be in all shapes and sizes, so just do it the way you want it to. So, um, I guess... Let's just start cutting this. We're gonna cut one here. There we go. And we're gonna do another one. Right here. There we go. Now, two more cuts. Uh, one right here. Oh. Make sure to hold it so it doesn't slide away from you. There. And one more. Uh, I think I need to put this back together. It's like a puzzle piece. Okay, okay. Because I need to be able to cut the last piece. Alright. Make sure to hold it. I don't want this sliding away. Alright, guys. Now we have cut our dough. And, and we're now going to get it ready for the fryer. Now that your oil is set to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, we're gonna put our dough in. You only need to put in two or three at a time so it doesn't get crowded. And beware, it might splash. So what you're gonna do is gently put them in and you're gonna want to um, do 30 seconds on each side, one minute total. And you'll know it's done once it is golden brown, and let's hope they puff up. Time to flip them. We don't want to overbrown them, because that's a bad thing to do. It's called getting them burnt. I'm scared. It's gonna splash. Oh, whew. Ooh, look at that. That one looks nice. Mine didn't puff up as much as I wanted them to, but they're gonna taste good still. These look done. And a matter of fact, they are done. Okay. So let's put them in a bowl or a pan or, you know, a plate with a bunch of paper towels to soak up that grease. Because you, you don't want greasy soap appears. Unless you like that, I guess. So we're going to do the rest and... We're gonna taste them after they're done. 
this one seemed to uh, puff up a little more because it has a bubble in it. And so what you're going to do is to get it to puff up more, you're going to have to roll your dough out thinner. And for the moment of truth, we must taste our dish. It goes really good with honey. I don't know what else you put with it. I feel like it's a disgrace to have it with anything else other than honey. Okay. We got honey on it. I'm excited. It's actually kind of good. It can be better, but we'll just improve for next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Goodbye.